9to5photoshoptips.com. Today we're going to be working with the pen tool to show you how to remove a background from an object. Really simple, we decided to select this rhino to work with and we're going to take out the background so that he can be used in other um, photographs or images. So we want to use the pen tool selected here and we want to be sure that we have the path and not the shape layer selected. So with that, we're going to just put points on the highlighted outside areas of our subject, which is our rhino here. And don't really worry about getting too accurate. I'll show you a really quick way that we can make modifications to this. Once the entire thing has been selected, you need to take the control key and then click on it so that all of these points are highlighted. Now I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on this and we're going to um, show you how to move these points around very very quickly. So once again on the pen with all of it selected we select a point to add into this and then you hold down the control key and that way you can move it very very quickly. And if you have a point that's already been selected you can just grab that and move it. And I'm just, just for roughness, I'm just want to get this to show you how the whole thing comes together. So you can get the general idea. But this will save you a lot of time in making cutouts, which are a very popular thing to do. I'm just doing this really rough because it is a, just a tutorial, but it really gives you the idea of how quick and easy you can make modifications to an image. Okay, so now that we pretty much have our rhino selected, once again, I'm not I'm not looking for huge accuracy on this just because it is a tutorial, but you can go in and do some fine tuning on your own. But uh, this will uh, at least allow you to see how everything has been selected. So with the pen tool on there, right click on there, and what we want to do is we want to make the selection. And I just decided on this, I'm going to have it as half a pixel. Uh, radius to be feathered around my selection. So once that's selected, it's going to go ahead and give you the, the marching ants. And the next thing I want to do is it's selected the rhino. What I want to do is select the background. So I'm going to go up here and select the inverse. And then I'm just going to hit the delete button and then my rhino disappears. I happen to have a black background. We're going to go ahead and switch that out here. But that will at least show you how uh, this system can quickly take and, and remove uh, a background from uh, a subject.